Well, surprise, it's Sunday. I don't usually post on Sundays. Um, after church, uh, I decided to stop by um, the post office. I usually get a notification from the post office that I've received mail, and I haven't got anything since before Christmas. So um, I thought, you know, it was on my way home from church. I thought I'll, I'd take a look, and, and I did. I had mail. I was, I was so happy. And some of it I noticed is from December, so it's probably before Christmas. I mean, they're postmarked before Christmas, but they, I checked my mailbox just before, after Christmas even, like a couple days after Christmas. So I have a very small post office, so maybe it was in there somewhere. I don't know, but um, I'll open them in just a minute. But um, I told you that our church has a, a church, we have a nurse that does a column, and she did one on laughter. And it doesn't have anything to do with weight, but I, I like the article, so I thought I'd read it to you. Um, and I think I did mention last week that there was an article that I read. I'm not really sure. That was a week ago. <laughs> Who remembers a week ago? I can remember 50 years ago, but a week ago? <sighs> Pasha, Pasha. I'm not going to remember that. But anyway, uh, the, the article is called Laughter is Fun. Last week I mentioned that laughter is a good way to relieve stress. Oh, that was it. I did. I, I told you that we needed to relieve stress through laughter. I do remember that now. Ding. But anyway, according to the author Edna Junkins, laughter is the human gift for coping and for survival. Ringing, peeling, roaring, bubbling laughter. Chuckling, giggling, snickering, snorting. How many people have snorted when they laughed? These are the sounds of soul-saving laughter that springs from our emotional core and helps us feel better. See things more clearly and creatively. Weigh and use our options. Laughter helps us roll with the punches and inevitably come our way. We unleash the power of laughter every time we laugh. We laugh to relieve stress, resolve conflict, enhance communications, enri enrich relationships, and just to have plain old fun. But laughter isn't just to have fun, it's also good for us. Yeah, at last, something that's good for us that does not mean sweating or dieting. Laughter heals the body and eases painful emotions like anger and fear. Laughter is actually a coping mechanism that helps us in a very pleasant way. A few years ago, I had the good fortune to meet Patch Adams, MD. I remember that movie with uh, Robin Williams. Adams believed that fun and the accompanying laughter brings great medicine into the life of a sick person. Studies have shown that laughter re relieves pain, relaxes stress, and stimulates the immune system. How many people have been with a dying family member and you just laugh about some of the silliest things. And for that moment, you do forget the pain. You forget the moment. You're just enjoying that special time that you're sharing. So let's not take ourselves so seriously. Enjoy a good laugh. Laughter is free. It can't be bought. Watch a child at play and see that God created us to be playful and funny. If you are having a rough day, relax, be cool, don't worry, be happy. That was a song. Think sweet thoughts and laugh for long periods of time. Have a good week and remember, life doesn't cease to be funny when people die any more than it ceases to be serious when people laugh. And that's a quote from George Bernard Shaw. And this article was written by our nurse, Kathy Pierce. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I really like that. Now on to the good stuff. Mike stuff. Isn't that Sally? It's, that's just so silly. So anyway, here's my first card, and it's from Kelly, Freedom in a Budget. I love her. She's going to get me on track this year. She's told me some good advice, and I've already started following it. I've decided, I write down now every penny I've spent, and I realize that I've been spending money foolishly, because before, I, before I'm going to spend it, I write it down, and I'm thinking, do I really want to spend that? So, and any extra money I'm going to have at the end of this month, I'm going to pay towards a credit card. That's my vow. But anyway, it is a, it is a Christmas card. Oh, I'm going to get my hand out of the way. Uh, Christmas is the original love story. It sure is. May the love that was born at that silent holy night remain in your heart throughout the year. And she said, Sandy, I pray that you and your lovely family have a blessed Christmas with love. Kelly from Freedom in a Budget. Yes, Kelly, I did have a very nice Christmas, but thank you so much. And then I had another card. Ta-da! And 
Another Christmas card. I love Christmas cards. I still have my whole... I keep forgetting to show you my stack of Christmas cards, but I still have them. I, I'm keeping them. I'm a hoarder in that sense. Uh, it says, Joy, wishing you a warm and wonderful season of joy. Merry Christmas. Thank you for your YouTube channel. It helps more than you know. You know, it helps me more than you guys know, too. It really does. Hope you have a wonderful new year and many blessings for 2018. Emmy Sanchez. Well, thank you, Emmy. It's a very nice card. Got to check and make sure I have your address. Check my phone book because I have a new phone book. And I got another card with, let me hide the thing, a snowman. We still have some snowmen out there. Well, not really because I couldn't get anybody to build a snowman with me this year. We had more than enough snow to build a snowman, but no snowman. Oh, how nice. My sister Denise loves lighthouses. See the lighthouse in the back? Everywhere we go, we gotta go to the lighthouse. Oh, and it's got a snowman on the inside. She says, Dear Sandy, I guess this is a thank you for your sweet note. The things that I sent you were a small way to thank you and hopefully encourage you to stay on this path with us to a longer, healthier life. I'll share a quote with you. Never exchange something you want right now for something that is best for your future. I like that. As Weight Watcher Buddies, we fight the right now feel good every day. I've been in Weight Watchers for over 20 years, and it does get easier for us if we're able to hang in there. God bless, Diane Ezeal. Um, I would hope that I've sent everybody a thank you card that sent me a gift. If I didn't, please let me know in the comments below, because I do like to send a personal little note to people that send me stuff. I really do. And I, I really think I got everybody, but you know... Sometimes you do forget, and, and if I did, I do apologize, and just please remind me that I didn't send you a note, <laughs> because I, I do want to send you a little handwritten note. That's just, that's the way I was brought up. It really was. And, oh, I got two things from Diane. Here's another little package. Let's see what this is. As we say, struggling. Oh, it's stickers. Hope the stickers make you smile. Never be ashamed to cry. Tears are the language God understands. Every day is a celebration. I love them. They're snowman sticker Snickers. That's, well, I'm snickering as I say that, but they're stickers. I love them. I love them. Love them. I do love them. Thank you. I will definitely be using those. Thank you, Diane. And then I got a package too. Anita Johnson. Let's see. No card. Oh, here's a note. Happy New Year. Well, thank you. It's my first New Year's gift. Let's see if I can get it out. As they say, struggling. Obviously, it's a glass. I can get it out. Oh, I love it. It's cute. Oh, it's so cool. It's got like little toy soldiers and a little, like a puppet and a little Egyptian girl carrying a thing and a cowboy and an Indian. That reminds me, we used to, I know it's not politically correct, but we played cowboys and Indians. Isn't that cool? I, I love it. And I will think of you every time I drink out of it. Oh, and it's got a little leprechaun. Because my family, my father's side is from Ireland. But, well, thank you once again. You guys spoil me. Even the Christmas is over and you're still spoiling me. I'm going to clean this glass and I'm going to have a glass of water right away. Because I have to start drinking my water for the day anyhow. So, I want um, oh, to even give you care and instructions. But anyway, thank you so much, everybody. I so appreciate how good you guys are to me. I, I just really can't stress enough how much I appreciate all of you. You, uh, I prayed for you in church today. Did you hear my prayers? Because I did say them for you. I do say that I pray for you two different times in the Mass. I pray for you during the uh, part of the Mass where they say for our intentions. And I also, before I go to communion, I offer up my week to God and uh, pray that all my family and my YouTube family have all the uh, financial security, 
their good health, and their spiritual well-being. So I do pray for you every Sunday. I pray for you every day, but you get an extra dose of prayers on Sunday. So um, thank you. You guys, you spoil me. You really do. You really, really spoil me. I just... I'm just so appreciative of all of you out there. I really am. Um, I, I think I'm struggling this weekend, so this is kind of the pick up pick me up that I needed because I was pretty good yesterday, but I did have my Burger King today. And let me tell you, it tasted just as good as I remember. But but on and on to the getting back on track. So that was just one meal. I've I've had it, I've indoor I've uh, indulged in it, I've enjoyed it, and uh back on track. So uh Thank you so much. I will see you guys on my daily video tomorrow.